day is it? It's our favorite day. It's new knife day. This was dropped off to me. This just came in the mail. This is from Artisan. This is from a subscriber. Let's crack into these right after you guys look at the logo. Want to do this one first so that I can get the box out of the way and get back to our regular, there's knives everywhere. Um, get back to our regular viewing angle. We'll open this up and we'll start pulling stuff out. I don't know exactly what's in here. Winston dropped it off. We got a wee knife. We got a something obscene and we got <laughs> something horrible, I guarantee it. Let's get this out of the way and take a look at what's in these boxes. And let's bring these back in. So we got three knives here. We got a something obscene. We got a wee knife. Oh my goodness. I know what this is. I do know what this is. Elite. <laughs> We'll save this for last. We'll read what's on the card. Okay, let's go ahead and start with this one. So this is the Wii Riff Raff. Let's open this up, take a quick, come on. Wii boxes have, got, they've gotten really better with their pouches, but their boxes can be problematic. They're pain to open. Uh, they've changed their pouches, as we see here. So this is the Wii Knife Riff Raff. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a nice looking knife. So we got titanium, blue, anodized, tumbled titanium. So what they did is they did the finish. You can see still some of the fine milling on that. And then stone wash it and then anodize it with blue hardware. That is a nice blade. That is thin. You know what this reminds me of as far as blade edge, edge profile and everything was when I had that uh, Magnetron on. Same kind of uh finish on the blade and really nice and thin behind the edge this thing is sliced. this is light um that's a lot of blade shoved in these handles they did a really good job that is a lot like some of the ferrum forge knives i've seen in the past where you have way more blade than you have handle and you're like how did they cram that all in there uh action on this seems really nice it's comfortable in hand nice taper on the handles but not too thin it does feel, I'm sweating. It's like 89 degrees out here and like 87% humidity today. So um, I like the jimping on that. The jimping on that is in a really good spot and it's nice, aggressive jimping. And I just noticed that these have pivot collars that are also done in titanium and it's kind of a cool look. It matches, but you still get the look of a pivot collar. I like that. The nice thing is if you wanted to modify this, you could always take these pivot collars off and anodize them yourself, whatever color you wanted. Um, pocket clip looks good. What's the tension on that? feel like not bad. I'm curious, though, whether that's going to play into in and out of pocket. I do like the, the milling on that, though. Those little pockets milled out. Beautiful blade shape. We'll see how this does. We'll get a first day in pockets coming up here before too long. Lots of nice. I'm pretty impressed with that. Just first impressions. So we'll do a first day pocket and we'll see how I really feel about it. So let's go ahead and move on to, I think the something obscene. Will be so nice. I've liked the something obscene knives. Let's see here what we got here. Something obscene. This is the J Cape J or version four, the V4. Uh, this is satin and black. Let's go ahead and take it. That's a oh, that's good looking already. That is nice. It's a little heavier than I expected. Ooh. Oh, but now that weight is balanced. That is beautiful. That is, feels good in hand. I've had a J Cape on the channel before, but the handles were different. So this is the, uh, it says it's a V4. I don't, that's not an actual bolster or is it? Let's zoom in. I can't, yeah, that's an actual inlay on that bolster. I thought maybe they had just masked it and refinished it different. That actually is an inlay. You can't even hardly feel it. Like now that I've, I'm, now that I know it is, I can kind of feel it, but still it just feels like a difference in the finish. That's a good looking knife. Nice backspacer on that. That's a substantial feeling knife. That feels so good in hand though. Ooh, that is thin. That is thin and slicey. I like these knives that have this deep hollow and then go to a nice full flat at the, or a flat grind at the tip. It gives them a very, very good look. And that is really thin behind the edge there. And then a little bit more substantial up there. See how this cuts. The action on that is ridiculously good. Just shy of drop shut. Really smooth, frictionless. I know you guys forget. I always forget to check it. Dead center on that. 
dead center on it. Oh, and you can see the in. I didn't even notice that. The inlay covers the cutout for the lock. Oh, it's got that. Is it in here? Sometimes they send it. Yeah, there's a replacement pocket clip in here if you don't like that lightning bolt one, if you want something that's a little bit more just standard. Jimping on this as well. Really, really good. And with your pack of candy, you get a pack of full hardware. You got enough screws for everything. I got two pivot screws, two bodies, or all the body screws, including, looks like the short pocket clip screws from the inside, I believe. Oh no, that is, uh, that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the little short screws to hold in the inlays. I don't know. I don't know. I have not taken this part. We will have to see what all that is. Lock bar access is great. And that lock bar is not too heavy detent. That's a nice, that is nice. I like this. I think I like this better than the J Cape I had on the channel before. I like this a lot better actually. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull up that last one. And like so this is, and I talked with the gentleman that sent me or brought me these knives. I talked with him and he said that this is kind of in response to my five more knives that make me happy. This knife makes me smirk. It was the only damn thing I wanted in the fifth grade for Christmas. My parents said it was too sharp, probably one of the worst knives ever made, but it was sold out of the U.S. Cavalry Magazine, advertised as the best close quarters combat knife. Also sold at Merlot's Cutlery in Parkway Plaza Mall. 25 years later, I found it reminds me of being a kid. So this is the Elite Forces Combat Dagger, all black finish, all black non-glare finish with throwing spikes. Let's take, <laughs> oh, this is just some United Cutlery horrendousness here. Um, <laughs> really, really, yeah, you can see it's it's poorly ground. It's definitely more favoring one side. Let's see here. What is this? Uh, stainless steel Taiwan. I know I have a I have a boot knife a lot like this that I got probably from the same place. Oh yeah, that is not even sharp at all. Really, really ground inconsistent. Look at that. They didn't even grind that all the way. You can see the black finish still on the tip. Of the, oh my goodness. Let's see. What's in here? Throwing spikes. <laughs> let's just take a, let's just take a fucking piece of metal and just grind it down to a point, put it in a sheath, and sell this to children in the U.S. cavalry. <laughs> oh my goodness! But that is that is hilarious. That is hilariously bad right there. I don't know how clearly you guys can see it. Let's look. Let's look. Yeah, absolutely horrible. It's <laughs> oh my god, horrible. Horrible knife. You shouldn't have bought this. You shouldn't have bought this, but I'm glad you did. And I'm glad you dropped it off here at the house. I have to say the handles on this are actually pretty comfortable, but there you go, guys. I was going to do the one that came from Artisan Cutlery, but I decided that one deserves its own video because that is a very, very popular knife. And I think it would get better traction if it just got a video on its own. On the way out, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. I'll drop in an ad and I will see you guys for some final thoughts in just a minute. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they they don't lean either direction politically check out coffee brand coffee there's a link down below that will save you five percent at checkout or you can use the coupon code crazy sharp all one word capital c capital s crazy sharp all one word they also have cold brew coffee teas and cocos freshly ground and roasted to order so check them out support them and support yeah, this guys, channel. a lot of fun on that i think that of those three knives well one of them being completely a gag um, I think that the Riff Raff by We Knife Company is probably going to be the one that I am going to gravitate to the most. It feels very functional, very thin. The J Cape is an amazing, beautiful knife, but it's more not, it's not along those lines of things that I think of when I think if that's what I'm going to carry and I'm going to grab for, for like for heavy use. Uh, but it is gorgeous. We'll see how I feel. My opinions may change after, like, I'll carry them for a day, see what I think, then we'll do the full carry, and you guys will see those videos coming up. That that uh, that boot knife was absolutely, absolutely kind of a gag, but it is cool, and it does take me back to high school, I do have to admit. So, 
Uh, guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Sorry you didn't see the Artisan. I think it deserves its own video uh, if it's what I think it is. So we'll, we'll just do that separate. Uh, if you want to support the channel, I threw a Coffee Brand Coffee ad in there at the end, but you can also go to Temper Trail. Nathan has added some more leather stuff on there. It's not just laces. He's got boot stuff on there. He's starting to make wallets. You're going to see some cool stuff. He's sending me one of the handmade wallets that he does that will be available on the website as well. You can use coupon code crazy sharp at either coffee brand coffee or temper trail to save 5% at checkout. Coffee's got its own link down below. It's got an, a, a discount built in. I have an Amazon store. Take that link, put it on your browser, pin it to it, use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. Make them pay me for the things you buy. You don't even have to put on pants to do it. And I have got a membership Everyone gets to hang out in the Gilded server that I've built. Everyone has access to exclusive content. I post links to it up there. I do giveaways for the premium and baseline tier members on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a Sharknate tutorial series here on YouTube that's behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.